Nate is in New York. Hi, Nate. Welcome to the Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. How you doing? Better than I deserve. What's up? Yeah, so I guess my main uh, question is, like, uh, I have a uh, – the main question, I guess, is how should I go about paying off my debt? What kind of debt do you um, have? So, um, yeah, so I have uh, about 48 grand in private student loans and um, 19 grand in federal student loans. Mm-hmm. Um, I have uh, uh, about 12 grand on my car uh-huh. and I have a seven and a half grand personal loan. What's your income? Yeah, so my take-home pay right now is about 2600 a month. Okay. Um, How old are you? I'm 23. What do you do? I'm a support technician for my company's R&D. What did you get uh, your degree in? Math. Math? Okay. Math, yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so I, so I had this opportunity, so... Uh, I was admitted into a master's and applied math program all the way across the country. Mm-hmm. Um, and, uh, but right now I have about like three grand in my savings. And, um, I also have about 2,500 in a 401k. I don't know why I put money in there at this point. Right. Uh, so, but, uh, I, I, I do. I, You're I a math guy deferred. and you understood compound interest and you wanted to get involved. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. But, uh, the, the equation here, I, the equation here is simple. You've got a big hole of, of debt and your income needs to come up. So we need to be working on ways to get that income up short term and long term, right? You're just getting started. 23 years old. You're just getting started. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of ways to move up in the field that you're in, right? Over time. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think so. I, my, 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 my biggest, so my, the plan I kind of have right now is I'm, I'm thinking about just trying to get a second job right. and like working as much as I can. Yep. And then like, but I don't know if so next year, by next September, like, let's say I have like, you know, 20, 30, oh, so right now I'm staying with my grandmother and uh-huh. like, um, I'm, I'm trying to not spend any money on anything. That's good. Um, the, the equa- again, let me go back. The equation is simple. What we're doing here is we're getting our income up. In the short term, that's looking right. like working an extra part-time job, some side hustles, and trying to get this paid off as quickly as possible. Another thing you can do is make sure that you're writing down your expenses and what you're spending through your budget because that's you're going to optimize your money in that way. So those are the two things that you need to be doing, lowering your expenses through budgeting and increasing your income through part-time, side jobs, that sort of thing. And that is that is the only way to skin the cat on this one. So you Nate, know, there's no magic thing. Nate, I took every math class that was available to me all the way through AP. Um, math is my thing. I love it. So I, I love the way your brain works. It's my, the way mine works. And here's my warning. Don't overanalyze this. Okay. I nowadays, when I'm talking to someone like you, I use big math, I call it, meaning very little analysis. So what I'm looking at is I just added it up real quick in my head. You got $86,000 in debt and you make $35,000 a year. Okay. $86,000 in debt means you need to pay off 43,000 a year for two years and you're debt free. So what have we got to do to do that? You need to make about $35,000 more than you're making right now. And so you're going to lean in on your current job, push, 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 do anything you can do to get promotions and move up or change your current job to a better one. And you're going to work like a maniac at the best possible paying side hustle. I don't care if it's cleaning septic tanks or walking dogs, do whatever you got to do for two years and get your butt in gear and go find you $43,000 a year for two years. And you're done, man. You're 25 years old and you're debt free. The whole mess is cleaned up and you will have learned some things about Nate that you don't know right now. You will like him even better because I like him. I think he's a good guy. (laughs) Do do you think it's like worth it to take uh, the the school opportunity? No, you're broke. No, you don't need a master's in applied mathematics. You need a job, right? You got to go get some money. You have a mess. Yeah. 
So Jade comes out $38,000 in income with a couple of music degrees. Did I get yep, that right? You're about right. And $465,000 in debt. They did not get out of $465,000 in debt, her and Sam, in seven years with $38,000. You know what they did? They got their butt in gear. You got to work, man. And they got their incomes up, and their income up some more, and their income up some more. And they were making serious money by the end of the story. But the beginning of the story was pitiful. Mm -hmm. And the beginning of your story is pitiful. But the end of your story is going to be amazing because you have that ability. My only, like, concern, so there, there's, like. Don't uh, analyze this, Nate. <laughs> Quit. You got, you're getting paralysis of the analysis That's already. Right. You got to get in gear, man. You got to roar. It's a, it's this a is, simple, this is, simple equation you, on be, this. Be a little dumber for the purposes of getting this done. This is just be a workhorse. You know, just get your butt in. How much money can I make legally and morally? How much can I work? And don't worry. You're not going to die from overwork. Right before you die, you pass out. Don't worry about it. Hey, there's this, um, I'm sure you've read. Atomic Habits by James Clear. And he talks about the idea of motion versus action. And the motion is, I'm reading all the books, I'm doing all the math equations, I'm rolling it over in my head over and over. But the time comes when you actually have to act and do the things that you're reading about, thinking about, listening to podcasts about, asking Dave's advice about. At some point, the motion has to transfer to action. And that's the only way that you're going to get out of this thing. But I mean, you and Sam just threw your shoulders back and roared. Yeah. You just went, ah! I'm going, you know, that's what yeah, you did. You have and to. And then you guys went and you worked and, and you did some crazy stuff to make oh, yeah. money that was legal. Yeah. But it, it was like, you look back on it, you're like, you, you're nuts. And, and that's what, that's what Nate's got to do. You got to, you don't have kids. You're not married. You can do crazy stuff, like get a bunch of roommates. So you're paying, paying he, she's you know. staying with grandma for free. That's crazy yeah, right there. You can do things like, you know, sell everything you've got. You can get rid of this car if you need to and get a $2,000 car. There's, there's a lot that you can do. You can work to all hours of the night. You're 23 years old. Your body doesn't, you know, don't get me wrong. You need sleep, but I'm saying Not you much. can do, you can do the crazy right now and do it now, dude. Don't put this off until you know ten years on down the line. Listen, money comes from action and work. Mm -hmm. Go get you some. That's right. Forty three thousand dollars a year for two years. You're done. And then call me up. We'll have you come down here. You can stand on this debt free scream. We'll give you a big old hug and tell you we're proud of you. Because that's where you're going, man. That's who you are. Mm -hmm. You're, you're, you're not a, a wilted little snowflake.